Hey everyone, I'm Franny. Welcome to Paws and Paint Studio. If you are new here, I look forward to getting to know you. Please introduce yourself in the comments below. And if you're returning, thank you for hanging out with me again. I would love it. <laughs> I would love it if you would drop me a note in the comments below to let me know that you are here. Today is June 1st. Holy moly, holy moly. I have not made a June journal yet. Here we go. That's what we're doing today. Um, I've already picked my papers. Um, I do believe I recorded my um, May journal making. And um, the reason I think that is because I feel like I've said this before. But um, I picked my papers out already because my papers are all over the place in my room and there's just no way that I could pick them out on camera. So, um, let me just take a quick peek here. Uh, yeah, this is going to be my cover. This will be my fifth time using one of these Amazon envelopes as a cover. Um, I love these. This is the perfect size journal for me. It's complete junk. It, it's something that would have gone in the trash anyway. So I don't feel precious about using it. I love this. I love this. So these are the papers I've chosen. And um, I'll just need to get them cut down into the proper size. Um, I'll give you a quick little flip through. This is something I've had in my stash for a very long time. It's... Uh, something that was sent to me that's just a page it looks like from I don't know some kind of book or magazine this is from a book that I got at the Dollar Tree a long time ago I and I actually got it specifically for the purpose of tearing apart and turning into journal pages um, this these are pages from a composition notebook that I pulled out and dyed and my thought with these, I, I used one of these last month, and of course, as you can see, it's considerably smaller than the book, so my thought this time was to take one of these, a second page, and I'm going to try to make it close to the size of my book, and then, so then I, whenever I open it up, well... If I open just to the middle, <laughs> then, um, and I'm probably going to do it kind of further down so I can actually have kind of like a pocket here. I thought that would be fun. Something kind of different. So um, maybe I'll just put this over the edge. I don't know yet. I, I um, Maybe not because that doesn't seem like. Anyway, so that's that's that. I need nine pieces of paper. So one, two, three. I'm, these, I almost always use the same stuff. So this is a piece of, large piece of ledger paper and music paper. These are building plans. My husband is a builder, so, and I'm a project manager. So between the two of us, we get tons of plans but these are old plans from him that I've had for years and years and years and um, have used as drop paper as you can see below here <laughs> um, same thing and so once it's done being drop paper it turns into journal paper this is newspaper um, again years and years ago I don't even know if newspaper is still if, if you can still buy news <laughs> like it, do people still are newspapers still a thing? And if they are, whenever I got this years ago, I, I'm talking like probably 15 years ago, if not more, um, somebody that I knew worked for a newspaper and when they would get close to the end of the roll, they would just, when they were printing newspapers, um, the they would just take the blank paper off of the roll and throw it away. And I was like, oh no, we cannot do that. Bring it to me. <laughs> So I have had um, tons and tons of this newspaper that I've worked through over the years. Another um, piece of 
uh, building of plans, building plans. And this was the inside of a feed bag. So those are my papers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna put that out of, no, I'm not gonna put this out of the way yet because I need to measure. Let me see. So the maximum size I'm gonna say is seven inches. Let me write this down. Um, seven by, uh, I'm gonna say 11 and a half or yeah, 11 and a half. Okay, now I can put this out of the way. I need to keep this. Um, and I'm just gonna start cutting papers down. Um, I think that with this, I will, let's see. Um, I'm not gonna try to fold this over the edge because it's just too small. So I'm gonna have to open up my paper trimmer here. And I don't have very much room on my desk, so this is gonna be kind of sideways, guys. Uh, seven by 11 and a half. And typically I would prefer to just tear, but this is going to be such a small amount that I think it would be difficult to tear. So this particular one is getting cut. <laughs> and as much as I love these colors, I'm not saving these strips. <laughs> So this one's done. And I'm going to move this to the side for now because I may not need it anymore. <laughs> yes, I will. Some of these are just too small to tear. Seven inches. Wait a minute, what is going on here? Oh, this is not seven inches. Okay, so this one's good. This one is definitely more than seven inches, but I think it's also too small to tear. Maybe I'm gonna be cutting more than I thought. And I think, what did I say? Seven by 11 and a half. So I'll have to cut some of this off too. Nope. What is the size of this? Oh, this is 10 and a half. No, 10 and a quarter. Okay, well that one's done. Perfect. Yeah, I'm gonna end up cutting more than I thought. That's okay. you guys what are you doing have you made a June journal are you making a June journal what do you like to make your journal out of so today uh, guys I have a question of the day I've been trying to ask a question of the day in my videos and it's purely for the sake of uh, creating engagement um, and so I thought that today's question of the day could be about journal making. So my question is, what kind of journal are you making? Are you making a junk journal? Do you make your journals out of, oh no, oh I did that wrong. <laughs> Let me grab one more piece of sheet music. Okay, try this again. Uh, I'm trying to focus a little bit here. So the question is, what are you making your June journal out of? Do you make it out of junk or do you make it out of scrapbook paper or do you make it out of printables or some combination or 
what do you do? This has rusty staples in it. That could be yucky. So the question of the day will also be posted in the comments so you don't forget by the time we get to the end of the video. And I would love it if you would just drop a comment and, and let me know because, um, like I said, it, it, it's just to create some engagement. And for us smaller channels like mine, engagement is so important. It's such a big deal. So I, I really appreciate any... Um, any comments that you leave on my channel. Okay, we're getting close, so I'm just going to speed this up and get it done, and then I'll start binding. Okay, here's our pages. And... I said we would start binding, but I guess first we have to organize them and get them in the proper order. Um, and I try not to be too fussy about this. I kind of uh, like to have something cool in the middle and, you know, maybe not have, if I have building plans, maybe not have two of them too close together. So this is kind of cool, and I think this will be my middle page, maybe. I'm going to keep looking and see. That's how it's going to be. Let's just put it in here and see what it looks like. Now, see, I do not like that that hangs out. That's too much. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take a sliver off of that music paper. much better yes okay let's try that again yes okay so just a quick little flip these are the pages I'll get to work with um, I do single page spread so this like uh, this will be June 1st June 2nd June 3rd June 4th June 5th June 6th and so forth. I'll need to come up with a way to stick these two pages together. Um, but I don't feel like I need to do that right now. I'm just gonna let, let that ride for a minute. That is a lot going on there. Um, so the exciting thing is that uh, for pages like this or like that music page or any page really, um, this month Allison at AJ's Inspired Life has challenged us to use a stencil on every page on every day in our June journals. So that will be the kind of nice thing about having some of these blank pages is we'll be able to use a stencil on them. So that'll be fun. 
Um, and I'll link it. I'll link Allison's channel below so you can go check out her her challenge. And um, I'm going to grab some thread, and I will be right back, and I'll start binding. Okay, so I chose this um, kind of yellow gold color, and I need my awl to punch some holes, and let me see, I have to double check every single time, but I believe this is just an inch, uh, two inches, see, I always have to check. So, what I typically do is I start in the middle and I'm not super particular about this so I don't, I often do not clip my pages together. It's a junk journal so it is what it is. I like to find the center which is easy to do with this ruler. It's right here. I'm gonna punch a hole through the center. And then I'm gonna punch a hole at two inches up and two inches down. So roughly, very roughly. <laughs> Okay, now I've got my needle, got my thread. I use embroidery thread. I always use embroidery thread. It, whatever, if you don't like it, use something else. And I typically try to do um, a little bit more than three uh, lengths of the spine of my journal. If you haven't figured it out already, I typically do just a very simple three-hole pamphlet stitch. I'm not fancy. I don't try to be fancy. I just try to get this done. <laughs> so I start, start uh, on the outside because I like for my strings to be on the outside. And this is the price I pay for not clipping things together, and I'm okay with that.
Okay, there it is. June is in the book. Now, I can already tell that I'm annoyed that this happened. But, you know, again, that's the price that I have to pay for not clipping. So, guess what happens to this? Um, it's going to get cut is what's going to happen to it. Um, do I care if it's jagged? Probably not. is that so here is June we'll do one more quick little flip to make sure everything is intact this is gonna be a fun journal to work in they all are fun journals to work in I don't like it whenever it gets loosey-goosey like that but that's all right it is not the end of the world I mean, maybe it's gonna need room to move anyway. I don't know. Why did that happen? Yeah, well, that is what it is. Sometimes that's just the way it turns out, guys. It's not gonna go anywhere in the long run, so, meh. I feel like when I'm making junk journals, I just, sometimes there's things that I just have to accept that uh, that's the way it is. And a pocket. All right, so there we go, guys. Thank you for watching me make my June journal. This was a lot of fun. Um, please take a moment to answer my question of the day in the comments below. I can't wait to hear what your journal is being made of. And, uh, I hope you're doing something fun, something crafty, something creative. But above all, I hope that you are living your best life. Thank you all so much for being here and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye.